good morning everyone welcome to the second lecture of farm power and machinery i hope you all are doing good sanitizing your hands regularly practicing social distancing so starting with the presentation types of plow uh, there are many types of plow such as indigenous plow mb plow disc plow chisel plow subsoiler and rotary plow indigenous plow the main part of the plow are handle body shoe shear and beam so body it is the main frame to which the shoe beam and handle are attached as you can see in the figure the body to which handle shaft and the shoe is attached what is shear it is the narrow steel bar attached to the upper surface of the shoe longitudinally along the center line and the handle are generally attached to the body of the plow as you can see in the figure the shear is attached to the shoe the shear is attached to the shoe with penetrate into the soil and breaks it open the shoe is also helps in stabilizing and balancing plow while in operation the plow is provided with wooden beam and handle mb plow a mold board plow is very common implement used for primary tillage operation function of the plow uh, mb plow are cutting the furrow slice lifting the soil turning the furrow slice pulverizing the soil components of mb plow mb plow consist of shear mb that is mold board land side frog and tail piece what is shear it is the part of the plow bottom which penetrates into the soil and makes a horizontal cut below the surface mold board it is the curved part which lifts and turns the furrow slice landslide side it is the flat plate which bears against and transmit the rear side lateral thrust of the plow bottom to the furrow wall frog it is the part to which other component of the plow bottom are attached tail piece it is an adjustable extension which can be fastened to the rear of the mold board to help in turning a furrow slice first we'll see shear it penetrates into the soil and makes a horizontal cut below the soil surface it is a sharp well polished and pointed component different components of shear are called by different names such as shear point cutting edge wing of shear gunnel cleavage edge wing bearing as you can see in the figure these all the components are labeled what is shear point it is the forward end of the cutting edge which actually penetrates into the soil cutting edge it is the front edge of the shear which makes a horizontal cut into the soil it is beveled to some distance wing of shear it is the outer end of the cutting edge of the shear it supports the plow bottom gunnel it is the vertical face of the shear which slides along the furrow wall it takes the side thrust of the soil and supports the plow bottom against the furrow wall cleavage edge it is the edge of the shear which forms joint between mold board and shear on the frog wing bearing it is the level portion of the wing of the shear providing a bearing for the outer corner of the plow bottom material of shear the shears are made up of chilled cast iron or steel the steel mainly contains about 0.7 to 0.8% carbon and about 0.5 to 0.8 manganese beside other minor elements types of shear slip shear slip no shear shin shear and bore point shear so 
slip shear it is the one piece shear which cut curved cutting edge having no additional part it is the most commonly used shear but it has got the disadvantage that the entire shear has to be replaced if it worn out due to constant use slip nose shear it is the shear in which the point of shear is provided by a small detachable piece the shear point can be replaced as and when required as you can see in the figure the point is provided then shin shear it is the shear having a shin as an additional part it is similar to the slip shear with the difference that an extension is provided to it by the side of the mold board bar point shear it is the shear in which the point of the shear is provided by an adjustable and replaceable bar mold board these are the types of mold board general purpose stubble slat mold board and sod or breaker mold board general purpose mold board it is made up of high carbon steel or cast iron it turns the soil gently and gives the medium pulverization stubble mold board it is made up of high car carbon steel it turns the soil quickly and gives through thorough pulverization sod and breaker it is also made up of high carbon steel it has the high, it has abrupt curvature and greater length to give more thorough turning but less pulverization in slat type this is also made up of high carbon steel it is used in the light sticky soils general purpose mold board it is mold board having medium curvature lying between stubble and sod or breaker type the sloping of surface is gradual as you can see in the figure the so sloping is gradual it turns the well defined furrow slice and pulverizes the soil thoroughly it has fairly long mold board with a gradual twist the surface being slightly convex then stubble type mold board it is short but broader mold board with a relatively abrupt cur curvature which lifts breaks and turns the furrow slice used in the stubble soils its curvature is not gradual but it is abrupt along the top edge this causes the furrow slice to be thrown up quickly pulverizing it much better than other types of mold board this is the best suited to work in the stubble soil this type of mb that is mold board is not suitable for lands of full grasses sod and breaker type it is a long mold board with gentle curvature which lifts and inverts the unbroken furrow slice it is used in the tough soils of grasses it turns over quickly covered soil this is very useful where the complete inversion of soil is required by the farmer this type has been designed for use in the sod soils slat type it is a mold board whose surface is made up of slats placed along the length of the mb as you can see here in the figure the slats are provided provided so that there are gaps between the slats this type of mb is often used where the soil is sticky because the solid mb does not score well in the sticky soils so what is land side it is the flat plate which bears against and transmits the lateral thrust of the plow bottom to the furrow wall it helps to resist the side pressure exerted by furrow slice on the mold board it also helps in stabilizing the plow while in the operation land side fastened to the frog with the help of plow bolts the rear bottom of the land side is known as heel which is rub against the furrow sole frog as we have discussed earlier frog is the component to which all other components of the plow are attached frog is the part of plow bottom to which other components of the plow bottom are attached it is an irregular piece of metal it may be made up of cast iron for cast iron plows or it may be welded steel for steel plows tail piece 
it is an important extension of mold board which helps in turning of furrow slice adjustment of mb flow for proper penetration and efficient work by the mold board flow some clearance is provided in the flow the clearance is called suction of the flow suction in the mb flow is of is of two types first one is vertical suction the second one is horizontal suction as you can see from the figure the small clearance is provided vertical suction or clearance it is the maximum clearance under the land side and the horizontal surface in the working position it is the vertical distance from the ground measured at the joining point of the shear and land side it helps the flow to penetrate into the soil to a proper depth this clearance varies according to the size of flow generally it is 3 to 5 mm then horizontal suction or clearance it is the maximum clearance between the land side and the horizontal plane touching point of shear at sit gunnel side and hill of the land side this suction helps the flow to cut the proper width of furrow slice this clearance varies according to the size of flow this is also known as side clearance generally it is 5 mm throat clearance it is the perpendicular distance between the point of shear and the lower position of the beam of the plow as you can see in the figure the point the this is the vertical distance or perpendicular distance between point of shear and the lower position of the beam vertical clevis it is the vertical plate with a number of holes at the end of the beam to control the depth of operation and to adjust the line of pull this is the figure horizontal clevis it is a device to make lateral adjustment of the plow relatively to the line of pull plow sizes the size of mb plow is measured by the width of furrow that is designed to cut it can be measured by measuring the perpendicular distance from the shear to land side the working type plow are usually available in the range between 10 to 30 cm among the tractor down plows 30 35 and 40 cm plows are plow bottoms are most commonly used sizes depending upon the power output of the tractor the 2 or 5 bottom mb plows are used center of power or center of pull it is the true point of hitch of tractor as you can see in the figure center of resistance it is the point at which the resultant of all the horizontal and vertical forces act line of pull it is an imaginary straight line passing from center of resistance through the clevis to the central of center of pull or power pull it is the total force required to pull and an implement so practicals aapko ye practicals likhna hai study of mb plow usme likhna hai different parts of mb plow use describe bhi karna hai horizontal and vertical suction line of pull and jo bhi humne abhi terminologies dekhi wo okay see you later